Hi, I'm Chris from Balloons Online. Today we're on site and we're setting up some vinyl on three foot balloons. Uh, so we're going to just show you a couple of the examples that we've done. But more importantly, the tip today is how we're applying the vinyl. Just created a little method using the slide and sides and um, we'll show you how we do it. So I've got a print here. Um, I was lucky enough to find just recently some clear transfer tape which works really, really well. Uh, the width isn't quite as long as we need for this particular design, but I'll cut off just another little strip. So I'm sure you probably have this part covered, but we'll go through it anyway. So just put some pressure on the transfer tape and come back at 180 degrees, usually at a diagonal, and it just gets the tops of the the lettering. Try and keep that edge as sharp as possible. Just happen to choose a tricky one for this example. Okay, so I think it's the clear. Okay, so what we've done, we'll just try to explain the jig. We've used a slide in size just with two extra. Length, length extensions, and I've clipped the helium inflated balloon just down to the ruler. So what it's doing is, I can see where the centre of the balloon is purely by the point that it touches these vertical uprights. So when I'm aligning the vinyl, I'm looking to the left and looking to the right, and just pulling that up by eye, but it just gives me a guide of something to start from. So start in the middle, and push it out from the sides. And you'll notice I'm pushing it up against the back wall, so I've intentionally placed it on the wall so there's something for it to hold up to. So come back at 180 degrees, nice tight edge helps it come off. tricky with the thin cuts. Alright, so once again we've looked at that left point, that right point. I'll just take it off quickly just to see and I think it just gives you something really easy to work with and we're doing these two-sided so now what I do because it's got that, that friction, that resistance, is I find that back wall, line it up so it's perfectly touching the back wall and I know my next section of vinyl is gonna be on the complete opposite side of the balloon. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the tip.